Jesus delivered us from. This man is worthy. We have a reason to make some noise. We have a reason to praise the Lord. And I began to sing that song even in my 
my sin, in my mess. Yes. He will make the darkness light yes. before me. Yes. What is wrong, he'll make it right. Hallelujah. Before me. Hallelujah. All my battles, he will fight yes. before me. And all of my high places, he'll bring them down. Hallelujah. And how many know that all those high places, he brought down. I thank God for Jesus for that. Hallelujah. This season, I find myself walking around. Hallelujah. Sometimes, Harvey Watkins has a song, and it says, Tell me how long will it be before your children are free? I begin to say, Lord, I'm tired of being lied on. Tired of being used in scorn. How long? Hallelujah. And how many know that in your worship, I felt Jesus come for me the other night. I begin to sing that song. How many know that in your praise, He lives with you. He inhabits it. Get you a song. Even Praising God 
for real. Yes. Because he said that, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. So we shouldn't stop anybody from praising the Lord. A drunk person on the street could be praising the Lord. But everybody cannot be a true worshiper. He had to first tell that lady that those five husbands are not yours. He had to first tell her some things. She had to accept some things and, and be willing to get some things right. And then he was able to tell her that he's seeking a true worshiper. So he wants us to even go beyond the praise. Amen. And to the worship. He's seeking a true worshiper. I don't have a five point message on this morning. But I just want to witness, amen, to, to what you've already set before me to say, amen. To be in tune with the house, amen. Pastor Ellis is such a true worshiper. You don't see many pastors, amen, that lose themselves on the level that she does. And that's why there's another birthing, amen. Because you're a true worshiper. Because you don't mind praising the Lord. And through every circumstance, through every circumstance, situation. We have to learn how to be a true worshiper. Sometimes we so easily let the enemy come and steal our worship. We even let him come and steal our praise sometimes. I remember a season when a lot of people were coming against me and, the, and God told me to put on the spirit of praise, amen, for all this heaviness. And I started to have to run around the church. I had to trade in my cute praise, amen. Sometimes you have to trade in that cute praise and you have to go crazy, amen. You think you're making me lose my mind, but I'm going to lose it for God. Because yes. if I lose life, I'll gain it. Yes. If I lose my life, I'll yes. find my life. Yes. He's seeking a true worshiper. He's a true God. Seeking a true worshiper. We thank God that he, even we were not even worthy, amen. While we were yet sinners, he died and yet he's seeking us. He created men in his image. He wants us to have dominion. He's seeking us to come back. Amen. To that place of true worship. Amen. To worship this true and this living God, Jesus. He wants you to come to him. And once we become true worshipers, somebody can look on our lives. We don't even have to be like the Samaritan woman and say, come see a man. We have to witness and say, come see a man. But our life itself will say, come see a man. People will want to come and see this God that you're serving. If you're a true worshiper, you, you take it everywhere you go. On your job, you're a true worshiper.
still go and do that sin that we can stop. We have the strength to. He's given us a comforter. Yes. He's given us. We can go beyond being saved. Yes. We can yes. seek God and ask for that gift of the Holy Spirit. Yes. The Holy Ghost is a keeper. Yes. We don't have to continue to grieve the Spirit. He's calling for us to go to that other level. Yes. Not just before the church people. Come on, Not come just God. in the church. On, I used to have the thing on my head, the chapel star. All that. You can do all that. And still, I had boyfriends that I was hanging out with. They were smoking weed all night, catching contacts. I wasn't smoking the weed, but I might as well have been. It was all in my face. But I still, on Sunday, was putting the little thing on my head. You know, he was seeking a true worship. I remember the church mothers telling me to take the fingernail polish off, take the toenail polish off, take the jewelry off. But I still was doing what I wanted to do. I did all that for them in the church, but I still was doing what I wanted to do. I still was creeping. But when he, when I got a hold to Romans 12 and 1 in my heart, he says that we have to hide the word in our hearts that we don't sin against him. He's seeking for such a true worshiper. He wants us to present our bodies to him all the time, not just in the church. Present your body when nobody is around, when nobody sees